so dangerous. I need everybody out here to give me this thing. Hey y'all, what's Tim? Welcome to So Banji. If you are new to my channel, I ask that you subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when your Banji boy posts another VEO. And if you've been here before, girl, what's up? Y'all, so Delia and I, we are about to take a road trip. We're on our way to Orlando, but I had to make a pit stop and grab something to eat. We went to the tattoo parlor earlier and apparently the tattoo man had canceled on us. So she didn't get her tattoo and she's very, very I'm sad. very disappointed. Very sad. Like we woke up seven o'clock this morning, made sure that we were able to get ready and get up to the tattoo parlor by 9 a.m. We sat there for a whole hour, nothing. Then I called mm -hmm. the parlor they said that oh he should be up there so we went up there and he still went that child so that's a whole another story for a different time but yes i had to make a pit stop to wawa but i shared all that information because to let y'all know we didn't eat anything so did she have her a pulled pork sandwich i grabbed me a brisket sandwich and their classic chips also have a super large watermelon arizona Scrape from out the fountain and it's so good. Hey y'all, what's up? It is the next day. Girl, let me tell you about our trip yesterday. So I was not able to get too much. It was a lot of music playing. It was just a lot going on. So I, it just would have been a whole bunch of nothing. I would have had to chop it like crazy. I would have had to block out the music because girl, who's trying to get copywritten in my coin? So yes, Delia and I decided to go to Orlando because it is her cousin's 50th birthday and she was celebrating her birthday at the Sugar Factory. So we went out to the Sugar Factory. We got there late because traffic was unbelievable. Like traffic started to hit before we even got to exit Duval County. Like it was all the way backed up. It was a mess. So we ended up being, I wanna say about 10 minutes late. Not only did we have to park and then walk, and y'all know Dilly, she is on a boot right now because she have a broken foot. So she could not walk as fast. So we would have been on time, but it was just so much going on, but hey, it's okay. Anyway, um, when we got there, they had split the party up. And that was a little, we was a little sour about that because what was the point of us booking ahead of time, you know, RSVP for a spot 
and then you separate the parties. Like you knew how many people was gonna be there and everything like, it was like one party in the front, the other party in the back. It was a mess. So we end up sitting in the back with basically like everybody else. Like the guest was in the back and you know, the main people was in the front, I guess. That's how, it, that's how it looked to me. But anyway, then um, the waiter came to us and was telling us that we were gonna have to move and uh, because we can't just walk up in here. Girl. I'm so tired of showing my ass. It's a way that you can approach someone. Like, you can ask them a question like, hey, did did y'all get seated here? You know, whatever, whatever. Yes, we, don't tell me that I have to move. And you don't even know what's going on. Because the host told us to sit over here. We didn't just pop up. Like, girl, a mess. Then, <laughs> after we left um, Sugar Factory, which was pretty exciting besides... Besides the whole seating arrangement and the waiter coming up with the BS, I had requested for a new waiter, um, but when we had a new one, he made sure that our experience was pretty good. That is my third or fourth time going to the Sugar Factory. It was Delia's first time going to the Sugar Factory. She really enjoyed it. She got super wasted. I wish that I could have gotten some of the stuff that she was doing. It was just so funny, but uh, we try not to bring our camera out while you know, someone's intoxicated because it can come across being very embarrassing. So, you know, you gotta you gotta be good to your friend, especially while they're under the influence. So, of course, I had me a drink too. I was driving, so we wasn't going to leave. So, we decided to go to Outback. <sighs> yeah, we got Outback. I haven't been to Outback in uh, forever. I was still a child when I last went to Outback. Girl, I ordered a bone-in ribeye steak. Y'all know I love my ribeye cut. I had got a ribeye steak, um, some asparagus, and loaded mash. Delia had got the 8-ounce sirloin with the fried ribs, which was really, really good. The fried ribs was bomb. She let me try one. It was so good. Um, and she had got like some seasoned rice and mashed potatoes. I had ordered our table some of the onion petals. The onion petals taste nothing like I had before. It was not given. So I ate a few of them and I sent them back. Um, the manager came in. They were like, should we bring out some more? I was like, no, we don't want it. We don't want it. We just want an entree. Every time I order a steak, I order the steak medium well. The steak came out. The steak came out medium. Deals came out rare. So she, we ended up sending our food back. Then it turned out that her steak was well done. Mine was medium well. Her appetite was ruined. My food was not good. It was just a bad, bad, bad experience. The asparagus was bomb. Um, and Delia, she just ate the fried ribs because the ribs were good. So we ended up leaving out back. They gave us a discount because we did not enjoy the food, so that was a good thing. After that, we found like a secluded area for us to sit and chill out until we were good enough to get on the road. All in all, the road trip in itself was fun. Like driving, singing the songs, and you know, sharing stories, laughing, that was good. Um, but when we actually got to Orlando, we did not have a good experience and as a whole, um, but it was worth it, so yeah. That was that. Um, by the time I got home, I got in the shower and I went to bed. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I think I am going to clean up. My As y'all see, I did rearrange my background because um, Christmas is good and over. And I need to do some deep cleaning to get ready for the new year. <sighs> I have a lot to do, y'all. Hey, y'all. So I am now in the car. I had to ride around, get my mind straight, you know what I'm saying? I usually do that all the time. Whenever I'm not having like an easy day or I have a lot on my mind, I like hop in my whip and just cruise, hop on the expressway in the slow lane, of course. Windows down, music blasting. I don't know, just makes me feel good, you know? Anywho, while I was on the north side, I had hit up Delia and I asked her if she wanted to ride with me or if she had to run some errands because her car is at the dealership getting worked on right now. I know she would need 
some help so I had hit her up and she needs to go to the store so that's what I'm waiting on right now I'm actually at her house I didn't have anything to eat today and I am super hungry at the house I know I have some fish because we did fry some fish on Christmas we had fish scallop shrimp um greens green beans rice candy yams and macaroni and cheese oh girl it was so good oh my goodness it was so good and um i just might eat some fish tonight unless delia suggests that we go somewhere else i'm tired of buying food though like i'm tired of eating out i tell her that all the time because delia can cook but she don't like to cook so when we hang out she's like let's go and get some meat i'm like uh-uh 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 and she know i say though real quick and then she buy. Like, well, I'm buying. I be like, well, you know, let's go and get us something to eat. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not about to keep buying no food when there's food at the house. Okay. So yeah. You okay? Mm -hmm. You want to say hey to the people? To who? The people. You recording me? Yes. <laughs> Yo, bastard. Hey. Where we going? We ain't going to Sam's today, y'all. I, I said we not going to Sam's. Dang. I know how you girls like the tussle. You know that that's the only place we go. It is. It's not. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. That's what you get. But tell them um about the trip yesterday. I, what trash is this? Those are cans. But who put it in my yard? I don't know, sugar. That's rude. That is kind of rude, but there's money true. involved. Get you by five dollars. So tell them about the trip. Yeah, I told them how, um, you know, as far as the car, the car ride, really rain. As far as the car ride, mm -hmm. it was pretty fun. But when we got there, how the waiter was being rude, telling them about something we was gonna have to move, and I told them about the denter. What's what's the your seating? Was awful. Like, if you have, what's the purpose of reserving? You know, you say you got to reserve if you got a big number of people, and then you reserve, and then you get there, and then you sit half all the way across the other side of the room. That was that was retarded. What I told y'all. That was just like retarded. And we didn't even discuss. We didn't even talk about it. Like we literally just went with the flow. You know what I'm saying? And we just we just went with the flow. We didn't discuss what happened or nothing. And I I told y'all I was going I was gonna put in the description. It's gonna be a lot of complaining, but I know I'm not the only one that felt that way. And then the waiter came and said how we was gonna have to move. And I'm just like, we were part of the party. They told us to come. So what he should have did was came. Okay, are y'all with? Are y'all with these? No, this he should have went to the, the wait, host. The host, like he did after he came to me. You know, he did that by exactly. So yeah, yeah, I told y'all, and then talk, tell them about your experience. At I'll bite. Well, that was sucky. <laughs> I ain't like that, but the peanut bread, I ain't even like that. So. Yeah, I ain't like the. Bread. I got full off of bread and sweet tight. I told him that you enjoyed the ribs. The ribs were yeah, well, good. pretty good. The steak was awesome. I it the best. No, I took it. I tried oh, to eat yeah. it this morning, y'all. That thing, that thing had me choking. It was tough as hell. But you said they was gonna come back instead of it being medium well. It was gonna be done. Mm -hmm. And I mean that thing was done. Done, 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 done. I do have my phone. I didn't bring my. I do have my phone. I didn't bring my Canon. That is not a Canon. That's a Sony. I didn't bring the Sony, y'all. And I was upset down there. Yeah, because the, I knew the sun were, was going to set soon. Put down the visor. No, I knew the sun was going to set. So I was like, you know what? It's... Mm, it wouldn't make any sense to bring the camera, but. This, this checkers is around the corner. Ugh. 
Dude, what you eating for dinner? There she go. There she go. Well. There she go. I knew it. I don't quite know. I knew it. What you gonna eat? You know so much. Well, I was over here thinking when I was in <laughs> really. I was thinking to myself, I was like, dang, do I want to make some chicken? Because I did see this recipe on um, Instagram Reel. This lady did like this um, pineapple fried chicken. It's basically like a Korean fried chicken. And she made like some sweet pineapple sauce and shook on up in there and had some blue cheese, girl. Pineapple chicken. Pineapple. You never had pineapple chicken before, girl. Ooh. I don't like pineapples. But you, it don't taste like pineapple. What taste like? It's just sweet. It's basically like sweet and tangy chicken. But Ooh. it looked like Korean um, like, chicken, so it's kind of spicy. Chicken, 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 chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like I like sweet and savory. I love sweet and savory. You feel me? So I think when we go to the grocery store, I might grab some wings and some Arby's fries, throw her up in the air fry, and that might be my dental for the day. You should use air fry for somebody that don't like to cook. That air fry will come in handy, sugar. And you looked at it and said, and I nah. Looked at it and said, oh, no. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> I told them how you be uh how you <laughs> look, 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 look. <laughs> I told them I said D don't like to cook, so she gonna probably wanna go and grab something to eat. But I told her I ain't gonna be buying nothing to eat every time we go out. And then I say, then you be like, Well, I'm buying and I'd be like, Well, where are we going to eat? You don't have to eat. you don't have to no, because you'll get mad. Now, be honest. You, is that, you'll feel some type of way. I don't want to break bed by myself. 